Hosea 4. Now we're on verse 3. Baruch Hashem. Al Ken, therefore. To Eval, I think we have had this, Evel, one time. Do you remember it? Mourning, good. Mourning with a U. So who is going to mourn the land? The umlal. So this is a funny word because it's, uh, it's got four letters in it. So it doesn't appear very often. We're going to find it in uh, Yoel. Yoel, Aleph. You remember Yoel? Pasuk Eser. Okay, so here are all these items again which uh, constitute the necessities of life. So Shudad, and we talked about this one time about the Shedim. But, well, that was Shed, and then you have, then you also have um, Shed, which means breast. Okay, so there's like oh, yeah. the uh, opposite meanings. Oh. So this means, uh, this has to do with destruction. It is wasted, the Sadeh, what's the Sadeh? No, it's Avla. Oh, okay. So this is the same Evel we were just talking about, yeah. is mourning. Who is mourning? The Adama. The Adama the land itself. Why? Here's another shudad. It's a destroyed, what is the dagan? The grain. And hovish is from yavash, dried up. Yavash, dried up. Here's the tirosh. And here's the umlal yitzhar. So you can see pretty much that it's going to have something to do with not being there. Either dried up or uh, failing or wasted or something. So it's generally translated as failing, not like failing a, a test, but there's a lack of it. So the other verse we're going to look at is just in verse um, Shtem Esrei. So this is sort of uh, just repeating the theme. What's the Geffen? The vine, Bari Prihagafen. Hovisha is also is drying up. The Te'ena, the fig. And we talked a little bit about that. We talked a little bit about figs. We're going to get to figs again in Hosea 9 and we'll go way more into depth about figs. Figs are Failing, withering, they're not prospering. What is a rimon, another fruit? Pomegranate, uh, tamar, date. Tapuach, apple. Kol etse hasadeh, all the trees of the field are not clapping their hands. They are dried up, right? Here's your yavash, they're dried up. Why? He, here's another hovish, is dried up. Sason, you remember sason, right? The joy. Min bene Adam, from among people. Very sad story here going on in Joel. So back in Hosea 4.4, 4, she will mourn the land, and that it's failing, call Yeshev Ba, all the dweller of it, whoever is dwelling in the land. Now it's going to give you some things. Chayat hasadeh, the living things, animals of the field, of bashamayim, the birds of the sky, dagei hayam, the fishes of the sea, Ye a sefu. And what is the root there? Saf is to gather. And the binyan is? Okay. Nifa. Ah. Nifa. Okay, everybody take out a verb sheet. What is the root? Aleph. Samif pe. Okay, and it means to gather. It's in the pa'al. It is in the pa'al to gather. It will look very normal. Osef. Osefet. We're not going to do the pa'al. We're going to do the nifal. We don't need really, I hope we don't need work on the pa'al, all right? <laughs> okay, so the past tense will look normal for the pa'al. Asafti, asafta, asaft, right? The future will be uh, pretty much normal, although it starts with an aleph. E'esof, te'esof, ye'esof. We got all that? Okay, and the uh, infinitive is le'esof. It comes with segels. What happens in the uh, nifal in the present tense? Nifal. We're working on nifal. Yeah. It gets a nun in the present tense. So you're in the pre participle tense. You know where your block is. You know where you're going to write. Get yourself oriented. It's ne ne'esaf. Ne'esaf. That means for the man, single man, what does it mean? It's nifal. What does it mean? It is a participle. Being gathered. Right, y'all? I gathered you all here today. <laughs> okay, so the uh, the female is ne'esefet, right? They're all, they're all, I think they should be all segels. They're all segels, just a pile of them in a row. This one is a chataf because it's, uh, because it's an aleph. It shouldn't probably have a segel there, but because of the aleph, it's got to have a vowel. Ne'esefet, 
What about do you think the plural is? It says ne'esafim. All right, and how about for the feminine? Ne'esafot. What is Chag He'asif? Sukkot is the, the uh, holiday of the here in gathering. Okay, I was gathered. Ne'esafti. Perfect box. I hope you're writing in your perfect box. Ne'esafti. You were gathered. Ne'esafta. And you feminine. So far it's not hard to tell the difference between this and the pa'al, right? Because a pa'al is osef, osefet, osim. This is asafti, asafta, right? All right, he, ne'esaf, and she, ne'esfa. We, ne'esaf, nu, and the rest is easy. And ne'esaftem, and how about the last one? Ne'esfu, and the last two are the same. Now, here is where we have the trouble. And uh, it's a little bit even hard to see because of the um, binyan. The, we're in the imperfect, all right? So we're still going to wind up with two olives. So this becomes a uh, seth. This is the, the nifal, 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 nifal. The pa'al is eh eseth. Without, so it would even be hard to see because you know in a, in a biblical context you may not have this vav at all. And, well, and you, you wouldn't might have the vowel for spelling, you wouldn't have any vowels. So to see the difference is quite difficult. But you have vowels. Hooray. So, for you will be gathered. Te. This is a very high A for all your nifal imperfects. It's a, a big A. In fact, in, in modern Hebrew, they write it with a yud. Te as. As opposed to te esof. The, the pa'al is te esof. This is te asef. Okay, how about the feminine, TSV? And this is, what do we see here? Is this a third person plural or in, in the, uh, this is a third person plural in the Hosea. So the singular is ye asef, and then the, uh, this is the same, right? And then we, we will be gathered, ne asef. And uh, here comes a fancy one, te asafna. And then the ye asfu, which is what we're looking at in Hosea. And then te asakna again. The uh, infinitive is la he asef. All your nifal infinitives are going to have a he. Okay, good. Near dam. Lahiradem. Lahiradem. To fall asleep. Okay, your, nif, your nifal infinitives will have he's in them. Lahiraot. Okay, to be seen. Lahiraot. You have the he. And then you have the oat at the end because, because it ends in hay. The end of the verse 3. They will be gathered. I think not for a happy purpose. What do you think? They'll be gathered to be taken away. The land will be desolated. Desolate. You're going to go on to verse 4. Ah. So, therefore, thus, however. Now, ish. Al. Oh, here we go. We're going to have an all review. So you have all with an ayin, which is on, all things going up. Allah, to go up. Aleh, alif. You have el, which is going to somewhere, and we talked about that with the alif lamid, and what you attach yourself to, what leads you. And then you have this al, which means don't. Okay, it's like lo, only backwards. And what is he telling them not to do? Don't read. Right, don't contend with each other. Okay, and also don't yachach, and I think we haven't had this at all. So the root is yachach, and it also mean, it means to argue. So we'll see some examples, starting in Bereshit, yay, kaf aleph, pasuk esrim v'chamesh. So they're having a bit of a contention. Here it's translated as rebuke. Why? Who's rebuking who? Abraham is rebuking Avimelech. So al odot uh, is a kind of a combined word meaning because of. It's one of those because of things, because of the incident of Be'er Hamayim, the well of water, which what Gazlu stole. Who stole it? Avde Avimelech. The servants of Avimelech stole it. So 
Uh, Abraham is giving him a rebuke on that. They're having an argument, discussion. Breshit Lamed Aleph, Pasuk Shlashim Vesheva, Ki, Mashashta. Mashashta, it's like you put your hand on everything. Translate as you searched, you searched it, but really, you put your hands on everything. And what did he put it on? Kol Kelai. All my tools. All my instruments, all my stuff. Mama Tsata. What? What did you find? What did you find? Mikol clay Betecha. From all the instruments, Betecha. Whose house? Your house. house. Your house. Yes. You put your hand on all my stuff. Well, what did you find stuff. from among your stuff and my stuff? You didn't oh. find anything, right? Sim. Put. Ko. Thus. Neged Achai Echecha. Put it before. Whatever you found, come and put it now before all our brothers, my brothers and your brothers, and they will have, they're going to act out the dispute between them. They're going to try and resolve the dispute. Eov, Mem, Shtayim, Pasuk Shtayim. You notice that um, Job has 42 chapters, right? <laughs> so this is, this is the, it's not Rov, it's the Reeve. The one, is a, it's a uh, question. A uh, question that doesn't require an answer. What do you call that? Rhetorical. A rhetorical question. Is the one who is reaving with Shaddai, don't, this is Job's whole thing, right? He's been having a reave, a contention with God. Well, he's having a contention with his friend. And his friend's saying, you must have done something bad. <laughs> and Job's like, I didn't do anything. Forty chapters are carrying on. I didn't do anything bad. Well, you must have done something bad. But I didn't do anything. Finally, God says, Joe, who are you talking to? What are you talking about? Uh, Yahweh is speaking. He says, is, is the person who um, is contending with all the Almighty, is he going to, yes, or is to, to turn him, in other words, give him correction? You're going to have a contention, and you're going to, and you're going to correct God. You're going to turn him in another direction. The mochiach, what tense is mochiach? Participle. Okay, it's a current tense, right? The one who is having dispute with Eloha, is he going to answer him and tell him something? Don't have a dispute with God, you're going to lose. All right, one more. Mish Perak Ket. Pasuk Shmone. What are those chas at the end? You. Al Tochach. Don't rebuke. Don't have a, a dispute with a let's. What's a let's? It is like let's on. Litzan means a clown in modern Hebrew. A letz is considered to be a mocker. Don't rebuke a mocker. Why? Because he will so ne hate. He will hate you. But if you chacham, <laughs> you will have a, a sore throat at the end of it. <laughs> if you rebuke a chacham, what's a chacham? A wise man. He will ohev. He will wow. love you. Back to Hosea, chapter 4. Each man should not uh, read. They should not contend. And they should not um, dispute with a man. Va'amcha, and your people. Ka merive, like, like the contenders. And who are they contending with? The priests. Your people are like those who contend with the priests. Also a bad idea. Priest is the, the righteous priest, right? He is the ambassador of God. That's right. And so he should be, it would be the equivalent to having a, a mitvakeach, a dispute with, with God. Yakach is used in uh, modern Hebrew quite a lot for people having arguments. It's used in the hitpa'el, and it comes out lehitvakeach. The yud becomes a uh, va. Keach, to have a, an argument with somebody. Verse 5. Now, verse 5 has some lot of interesting things in it. So the first root is kashal, and I think that we have never done it. And it means to stumble. First, uh, go to Yeshayahu Chet. We'll see the noun first. I think we might recognize it better. Pasuk Arba Esrei. This is talking, it's a, it's a prophecy for the Lord. Vehaya, and he will be. Le Mikdash. So you know what a Mikdash is? Or sanctuary, okay? It's talking about a holy place here. And also, Evan Negev. What's Evan? Stone. Stone, right? And yes, a Negev is uh, if you hit your foot against a stone. Okay, a stumbling stone. And also, a Tzur 
Michshol, which is also, uh, it's parallel. It's also a stumbling stone, a rock. I think it's translated maybe as a rock of offense, a stumbling stone and a rock of offense. To who? Shnei to Yisrael, two houses of Israel. Lepach is a trap. Mokesh is a trap. To who? Yoshev Yushalayim. Mm -hmm. So have you heard of this, a stumbling stone and a rock of offense, right? And they both basically mean a stone is smaller, a rock is bigger, but they're both about hitting it and falling down, stumbling. Okay, so this is the noun, mikshol. Vayikra kaf vav, pasuk shloshim v'sheva. So this is all different things that are happening in the history uh, of what's going to happen when they are disobedient. Bakashlu, and they will stumble. Ish be'achiv. Each man will stumble over his brother. Okay, they're not going to be able to walk properly. Mipnei cherev, in the face of the sword. Verodef, ayin. It is ayin, but it's got the... So what is a rodef? Chase you down. There are, there, are no, there are no attackers. Nobody's attacking them, but they're stumbling over each other, okay? Because they're in sin, and God is punishing them. Lo tehiyeh lachem. There won't be to you a tikuma, which comes from getting up. They won't have any strength to get up. There will be no getting upness. Lifnei oivechem. In the face of their enemies. Mizmor kuf. Hey. Pasuk shloshim v'sheva. Right, Yotzi, are they coming out or did he bring them out? Which one is it? Hamotzi lechem min ha'aretz. He bringing them out. He brought them out. The M at the end is them. He brought them out. Bekesef, with silver and gold. Ain, without. Bishvatav, Beshevet, in their tribes. Koshel. No, it's translated as feeble. There was no feeble among their tribes. Nobody stumbled. The whole time they came out of... Well, they didn't stumble in their feet. They stumbled in their <laughs> faith a bit. Mishlei Kafdalik. Pasuk Shesh Esrei. Kisheva. Seven. Yipol. Nafal. Huh? He will fall. Who's falling? The tzaddik. Aval. Who come? He gets up. Seven times a righteous fall, but they get up. However, the rishaim, the evil, Yikashlu, they are stumbling, they are falling. Where? In their wickedness. One more, also Yeshayahu Mem, Pasuk Shloshim. Yeah, so you can really see a little bit more the poetry of it because of the verbs. So, Ayef, Ayef is tired. Who are tired? The Neurim, the young men. And they are also Yiga. They're also weary. They're tired and they're weary, the youths. And Bahurim, the, the next oldest ones, okay, also young men. Koshel, Yehoshalu, they are stumbling, right? They're surely stumbling. And Kove is to wait, the waiters of Yahweh. Yechalifu Choach, they will uh, really change their strength. Ya'alu, Ole, what's Ole? Go up, they're going up. Ever is a limb, but it's the limb of a Nesher. A Nesher is an eagle, okay? So it's like they will rise up like the wings of an eagle. Rots, roots, roots. Running. They're running. Velo yagi. You hear they will not be weary. It goes back to this previous ver the previous verse, that they will not be weary. Yahu velo yaifu. They will go, but they will not be tired. Okay? So everybody knows this verse, right? Yeah. So this is the stumble. Um, Youth shall faint and be weary, and young men shall utterly fall. They shall completely stumble. But he who waits upon the Lord, okay, you know it. So we have to, we're going to stop that there because uh, the next, it's a short verse, but the next word is very com that we have to do is very complex. It has very, a lot of corners. No, we will not have class. I probably might not be here.